Welcome to the news at 11, everyone. I'm Rick Ritter. And the big story we're following tonight, we are hearing from some of you worried you could lose your homes to a major tunnel construction project. Amtrak's proposed Frederick Douglass Tunnel expected to give you some speedy options for travel, getting you from Baltimore to D.C. in just 30 minutes. Sounds good, right? But that proposed tunnel would go through West Baltimore and would require major construction work. Kelsey Kushner in your corner live at 11 o'clock tonight. And Kelsey spoke with some in one West Baltimore community who say this project will impact where they live. Rick, well, some neighbors are, you know, excited about the possibility of this tunnel. You know, it's going to get people from point A to point B faster and safer. But other neighbors are concerned about it because it's going to be going under some of their homes. They're worried about what this could possibly do to the foundation of those row homes. As a daily commuter in the city, Doc Cheatham says he knows how important a new passenger rail tunnel can be for the region. I would say it's imperative, uh, especially in the neighborhoods like this. But as a Baltimorean, he knows how damaging construction can be to historic homes like the ones in his neighborhood. Will we be hearing it? Uh, and what effect will it have on the structure of the houses? These houses are over 100 years old. Tuesday night, neighbors of the Matthew Henson neighborhood met with Amtrak representatives for an informational meeting about the Frederick Douglass Tunnel, a state of the art passenger rail that will replace the 150 year old Baltimore and Potomac Tunnel currently running. The new tunnel will consist of two tubes, allowing trains to run up to 110 miles per hour underneath a two mile stretch in West Baltimore. But neighbors say they want Amtrak. To slow down their plans. We're hearing abject fear, confusion, chaos in the community. The current 1.4 mile train that's capped at 30 miles per hour connects Penn Station to Mark's West Baltimore Station, but Amtrak says it's deteriorating, lacking updated security systems, and the floors are sinking in. Amy Petrovsik represents six neighborhood associations impacted by ongoing construction and says many neighbors are concerned the foundation of their homes will be impacted with a tunnel running underneath it. Your homes. That are built on sand. They're made of brick. Uh, there's old water lines. This map shows the new tunnel's path running under Reservoir Hill and Penn North before emerging near a new West Baltimore Mark station. Cheatham says although the project will allow parts of the city new access to transportation, there are still a lot of unanswered questions about the stability of its pathway through his neighborhood. What streets does it affect? You know, what impact will it have? Will neighbors get an opportunity to seek employment? Now, Amtrak says that that tunnel will run anywhere from 50 to 125 feet below the surface in that specific neighborhood. They say the project isn't expected to be completed until 2035. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ. That's some real concerns out there. Kelsey, thank you.